Ever since I completed my first few gym sessions and started to notice my muscles looking bigger in the mirror, I quickly got addicted to the gym. You see, for too long, I procrastinated improving my health and my fitness and building the body that I wanted. I was tired of being skinny, having no confidence, and feeling like I had no energy all the time. I knew that I wanted that lean, attractive, Greek god physique that would make me feel more confident and look way better. And I achieved it in half the time that I thought it would take. And while I can definitely assure you that the journey to becoming aesthetic won't be free of challenges, with the basics and the right principles, you can succeed. So here's everything I've learned in the last one and a half years of my fitness journey that you need to know to sculpt the aesthetic physique that you desire. In essence, crafting an aesthetic physique comes down to really two key elements. First, building a solid foundation of muscle through dedicated resistance training. You can either do this with weightlifting or bodyweight exercises. And this is with the goal of putting stress and fatiguing the muscle so that you can challenge it to grow. The second element of an aesthetic physique is achieving a lean body that will allow those muscles to really shine through. And contrary to what you might see on social media, you don't need a sub 10% body fat to look good. In my opinion, you can honestly go up to 15% body fat and still have an amazing physique. Many people procrastinate stepping foot in the gym for the first time because they're too obsessed with finding the perfect workout plan, the perfect routine, the perfect diet, all the right supplements or whatever. Honestly, all of that is unnecessary. All you need to build that aesthetic physique are the essential basics, like proper training, good diet, and just decent sleep. And I know this because all I really did to achieve my physique was do proper resistance training for one and a half years and eat properly so I could put on muscle faster. Showing up every day, enjoying the process, and improving something small each time is the key to making progress in the gym. But that also goes for any other endeavor in your life. But no matter which style of training you choose to do, whether it's weightlifting or calisthenics, it's essential that you practice progressive overload, which can be done by gradually increasing the weight, the reps, or the amount of sets in your exercise routine over time. To achieve an aesthetic physique, you must train with intensity, and you must train until failure. This is so crucial because if you don't properly fatigue the muscle and train it till failure, and you don't get those last slow few challenging reps in, your muscle actually won't be stimulated enough to grow back stronger and larger. And while you're doing this, you should also be practicing slow and controlled reps to maximize that mind-muscle connection. Focus on each rep, making sure you're going through the full range of motion while also practicing correct form so that you could prevent potentially small or even devastating injuries. I messed up my left wrist this year for months by ego lifting. Since then, I've become much more grateful of the functionality of my body and also just been way more careful and learned to be more gradual with the way I increase the weight. And since we're going to be exercising all of our muscle groups, it's essential that you pick an optimal training split that's going to allow you to stay consistent and optimize recovery and gains. Pick the training split that's going to complement your lifestyle the most. The best workout routine and training split is going to be the one that actually gets you to show up to the gym the most because ultimately that's what's going to make the difference. In my weightlifting journey, the split that's giving me the most success and most results is the six day push pull leg split. I'll also put my specific workout routine on the screen right now. I've also done the Arnold split with great results. But whatever split you decide on, make sure you listen to your body. If I feel like I need an extra rest day on any particular week, whether I have a lot going on or I'm really fatigued and really sore and I feel like I need that extra recovery, I'll take that because I know it's gonna make me come back stronger. Just see how your body feels throughout your split and then just make changes accordingly. Now, of course, while you should be exercising all of your muscle groups, the ones that are gonna make the biggest difference in terms of aesthetics and attractiveness are gonna be your back, your shoulders, your chest, and of course, nicely developed legs to balance out that muscular upper body. Now, what do all of the muscle groups that I just stated have in common? They promote the shape of the V-taper, which really defines an aesthetic physique. A V-taper is your shoulder to waist ratio, and it makes a massive difference in terms of aesthetics and attractiveness, which is why we should focus on it. Now, probably one of my favorite muscle groups to train is back, which is why I love talking about it. Now, by far, I think the best exercise that you can do to develop an aesthetic back is pull-ups. It's definitely the exercise that's given me the most progress in my fitness journey with my back. If you can't do pull-ups yet, that's totally fine. I would just recommend as a decent alternative to do the lat pull-down until you can eventually progress to pull-ups. Pull-ups will also increase your grip strength and your pull strength, 
which are nice bonuses that will benefit you in other areas of your training. Now, I recommend that you have some sort of rowing exercise for your back day for overall muscle growth, like overall upper back development. In the past, I was mainly doing seated cable rows, but lately I've been experimenting with single arm bent over rows and they're hitting my back like crazy and I'm definitely gonna continue to do them. And of course, we all want those bolder shoulders. And in order to achieve that look, you're gonna wanna hit all three parts of your shoulder so that you can get that broad and round look that you want. That'll really define your V-taper. The side delt in terms of your physique and how wide you look is gonna be very essential. So I'd say lateral raises are gonna give you the most bang for your buck. They're one of the most effective exercises in making a big difference in your physique quickly. Your front delt mainly gets hit with your standard chest exercises like a dumbbell press or bench press or whatever. But pretty often I'll throw in like an overhead press or a seated shoulder press to just further hit those front delts on my push days. And of course we can't forget about those rear delts. You can hit your rear delts with rear delt flies or rear delt raises with dumbbells. For an aesthetic full chest, we want to be exercising the upper chest and prioritizing it because that is the most critical part of the chest in terms of aesthetics. Therefore, to target the upper chest, we want to be doing incline pressing movements such as the incline dumbbell press to target that upper chest well. And again, remember to do slow and controlled reps until failure that allows you to get that good muscle stretch in and that good mind muscle connection. I'm gonna be honest though, I don't really like getting caught up in too many rules or regulations when it comes to my training, and you shouldn't be getting that message from this video at all. I actually prefer doing what I enjoy and what actually gets me in the gym so that I can actually be consistent and make more progress. I still have the standard barbell bench press in my push day routine, even though it's not optimal for chest growth. Of course, follow the basic principles, but incorporate the exercises in your routine that you genuinely enjoy doing. Of course, just make sure you're being safe and you don't hurt yourself. Now, of course, all of this training will be for nothing if your diet is terrible. I'm gonna keep this diet part of the video pretty simple. Try to avoid heavily processed foods with bad ingredients as much as you can, because of course they provide little to no nutritional value and they just have a bunch of empty calories in them. Now, in my opinion, it's not worth worsening your health just to get some extra calories in because sure, you're gonna bulk more and you're gonna maybe gain some more weight, but it's gonna make you feel worse. You're gonna get worse sleep. You're gonna have less energy. Now, I believe in having a healthy diet which consists of whole foods. I prioritize my health and overall just like how I feel more than putting on muscle. But of course, we can do both if we eat correctly. Eating a diet consisting of whole foods, which are foods that are just having one ingredient, keeps me a whole lot more energized and makes me feel a whole lot healthier and happier, honestly. Eating like this will also keep you pretty lean, which is important for an aesthetic physique. And I honestly found that when I stopped eating processed foods, I started to have better workouts and overall more energy throughout the day in my everyday life. If you wanna be putting on muscle quickly, you're gonna to wanna to be putting a lot of protein into your meals. Your protein goal should ideally be around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. That's the general prescribed amount of protein that you should have per day to consistently put on a lot of muscle. If you have your protein gradually throughout the day in each meal, you'll be more likely to hit that goal. Aside from foods like meat and eggs, you can also supplement with protein powder to make sure that you hit that goal. I'd also recommend, especially if you've already been in the gym for quite some time now, to start taking creatine. It's gonna make you feel stronger in the gym, it's gonna make your muscles larger, and it's also gonna help promote recovery. You also do wanna be getting a good amount of carbs in for energy and muscle recovery. Okay, so those are some general guidelines, but how you choose your diet specifically will depend on your current situation right now. If you're currently skinny and you wanna bulk up and gain muscle, then you're gonna to wanna to be eating in a calorie surplus, which means you're eating more calories than you expend. If you're currently overweight and you wanna cut down your weight, lose that fat and gain muscle, then you're gonna to wanna to be eating in a calorie deficit. But no matter if you're in a calorie surplus or a deficit, you still wanna be eating a lot of protein. One more thing I'll touch on is sleep. And I think a lot of people neglect it and it's a huge mistake to overlook this because you are leaving so many gains on the table. It's crazy. And I get it, some nights you wanna stay out late, you have stuff to do, you wanna socialize, you gotta study whatever you got going on. But if you're getting less than six hours of sleep per night, you're pretty much just sabotaging your gains and you're slowing down your progress. The person who gets the eight hours of sleep, the full night's rest, 
versus the person who gets five hours of sleep because they stayed up playing video games or whatever. They live massively different lives. The person who gets eight hours of sleep has more energy throughout the day, is more social, more confident, has more energy in the gym, recovers better, gets more muscle. The person who doesn't get as much sleep not only gets less gains because there's just less recovery. When you get less sleep, your brain function is worse. You have worse energy. You have increased likeliness of feelings of anxiety, depression, and that is just no good. So try to get at least seven hours of sleep per night. Go to bed and wake up at the same time. Have a consistent schedule. Don't eat too late, like right before bed. Don't work out right before bed. You can do your own research on this yourself. Just try to have a good sleeping environment and stay consistent with your sleep schedule and you should be good. Don't try to do everything at once because it's unsustainable when you're first starting out to try to get the perfect workout routine, the perfect diet, and you know, going super hard doing a bunch of volume. The questions you should be asking yourself are, am I being consistent every day? Am I putting in effort? With fitness and working out, the amount of effort that you put in will yield the results that you get out. Build up those habits, take it slow and steady, and you'll be well on your way to achieving the aesthetic physique that you want. Please don't watch this video and do nothing. Take something, whether it's just one thing from this video, and apply it to your life. And if you do that over time consistently, I think you'll see a big change. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing for more helpful content in the future. Let me know if I missed anything important or if you have any further questions on fitness in the comments. I actually have a pretty cool offer for you guys. So if you're feeling a little bit lost on your fitness, your self-improvement journey right now, and you wanna get faster results and streamline the process of building a nicer body, your self-improvement, your lifestyle, your productivity, whatever it is, if you want to learn from someone who's been through it all and is currently also learning and trying to become better, let's talk about it. Feel free to book a free call with me in the description and let me know how I can help you. And if you want to learn from my latest video on how to become more consistent and build a rock solid routine, the link for that will be on the screen right now.